Okay, a lot of people are asking how to hook up laptop to an old TV. When I mean an old TV, not those black and white. Those big fat tube TV that has RCA, those yellow, red, white color cable things. And so I'm here to show you a better and easy way and cheaper to hook your laptop to the old TV. So now this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a, a box uh, uh, that's uh, VGA to video. It says right there VGA to video. This and and it's just a converter to to send the image to the to the TV. You're going to need VGA. VGA. You're going to need a power source to the box. You're going to need a sound barrier, one of those sound things. Now you can use this or you can use this that has the the color and it has a a female jack instead of the male jack. Now the other one was a male jack that you can plug in and then you can use an an a aux jack to plug into your computer. So first thing I'm going to do is plug in the VGA to the box. Okay, next I'm going to plug in the power cord. Then you want to plug it into your computer, the power cord, and the VGA. So let me move my camera. My laptop's over there. Here, I'll move out of it. So I will plug it in. There's my VGA is in. Now the power cord. Next, you you usually get those color color cords to plug it into your TV because they so the yellow goes in here. Okay, and I already plugged these into the TVs already. So then you you put in the sounds. So you're gonna have to get these. Oh, and the other thing is, since these are two males, you're gonna need a female to connect them. So I I got I got some of these. You can get them Radio, radio Shack. They're really cheap. They're uh, just the female type, so you can just put them in there and here, then connect it to here. And then you just gotta do is plug that into your headphone jack of your uh, laptop. Okay. The next step is to turn on the TV. So, TV's turning on. Okay, so right now the image is wrong, but on the box, you can fix it. So, on the box here, you can you can fix the, the, the uh, image. So I'm gonna hit menu, and I'm gonna go up to resize it. Oops. There we go, and then uh, let's do the this one. Okay, and then and then. The next step is, I want to show you how good quality the uh, the image is. So you can see you can see that. Oh, let me get rid of this. So what I can do, so what I I change my settings so I can have two screen at the same time. So you could change it just have uh, they can just duplicate it. So I'm going to cross this over there. Okay, so I'm just going to play a random video on this thing. Okay. Just let's go ahead a little bit. Okay. So, that's about it. You can actually buy the box here, but I advise you not because they're around 30 bucks to 60 bucks. 
It is a lot cheaper at Amazon. It's around 12 bucks total, you know, including shipping. And I, I advise you not to buy this. Because the reason is that is not enough power, enough, not enough juice to send the image to the TV because the, the image does show on the TV but it's not as clear and it's not as powerful. So I advise you to, to make sure don't, no, don't get that. The other thing is when you first, uh, when you first buy, buy it, they're going to have this, this little orange right here, this little orange spot um, off. So if I switch this back, um, back off, so let's see, this is going to happen, see, but if I switch it back on, it's just like up and down, it's really hard to get, but, and the image there. Now the image on what you see on through the camera, because of it, it's projecting differently on the TV, but what I'm seeing is nice and clear. So that's about it, and I'm Tony, thanks for watching.